Berber Scree says, if you appreciate my help, then please hit subscribe. Subscribe right here. Subscribe. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. Subscribe. And if you like, maybe it would be helpful if you also like. Please like. Thank you very much, says the Berber Scree bird. Hello. This is Mark, the bed bug engineer, and this little guy right here, that is Sosa. And he is the bed bug engineering technician. And he's really excited because he knows that if he is quiet, that his daddy's gonna give him a Scooby snack at the end. Oh, 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 oh yeah, daddy will give you a Scooby snack. You just have to stay good and quiet, okay. All right, so in, in this episode, what we're going to talk about is we're going to discuss basically using your vacuum cleaner. And uh, what you're going to do uh, about, because these uh, bed bugs, you know, okay, so here, here's, a, here, here's the way Here's, here's the way things should look here. You got your climb ups on. You got your climb ups on. You get uh, everything's been inspected. Protocols being followed. You got a gap here between the table and the bed. You got a gap between the chair and the bed. You got the chair squarely against the table so that it cannot get to the bed even if it's rotated that way there's still a gap you got uh you, you've checked your your uh doggy bed is not up against the wall it's a little closer than i want there but it's still like a, a quarter of an inch okay <clears throat> i've taken away all the dog's uh blankets and everything and and uh his toys here. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, uh, this one here is is too long. Makes too easily uh, too much of of a bridge. Okay, that time that time it it fell off. You know, in a way that wouldn't. But uh, imagine imagine like this though. Falls off like that. Oh, perfect bridge from the floor. To the the bed and the platform, those bed bugs can uh, bypass those climb ups there. So this toy right here, if we had uh, bed bugs going on right now, I I wouldn't be using it. Okay, um, this this one here, <clears throat> this big uh, cheeseburger that that can uh, uh, easily roll off right. Oh, right there, you you compromised because they can go from there to the leg and so uh, I, I decided that the only way this is staying in the room is if we just have it uh, uh, far away from the bed but little ones like this heart pillow here I approved his his, his bats although it's, it's possible that uh, one can sometimes do like that it's rare, and and so I I I would allow the guys is is grunt hog, and this thing is questionable. It's not a violation. And then once it once it is that far off, uh, it tumbles off, you know, because I've I've made the bed at the proper height, as uh, discussed in uh, other videos. And these, so those toys I approve, those can be on his bed. Anyway, um, we're back to the point of the video. Vacuuming uh, frequently and uh, then immediately burn outside the results in the fire pit. So, these guys, in my opinion, they like to when they like to sneak around, they like to come in under the door, and I think that they like to do it along the edges. 
That's, that's my theory is that they like to move along the edges because they like to be sneaky so they like to come in like that and then get behind your furniture and amble however they want to but I think they like to prefer the corners as opposed to out in the open could be wrong uh, so you want to also get your corners so just gonna do a little quick demonstration Try to give them no place to hide, of course. And you know, we're we we're using many different methods. This is one method. We use them all. We cross methods. We use many different methods all together at the same time. You're okay. You're okay, little engineering tech Sosa. You're okay, little guy. Yeah. Now, you definitely want to do this as well. Take it out. Like this. Grab the attachment. Assemble them. Like so.
Now, once that you're done using the sweeper, and and uh, this was just a quickie, I would be more thorough than this. I'd go around and get the rest of the places. But uh, once you're done with that, you have to assume that you have live bed bugs inside here. And me, I don't even want to really leave them around, you know, to wait and try to figure a way to squeeze out of here because they can be pretty small. So I want to get them right out of here. If I was thinking really good, I would already have set this up, grabbing some paper towels, tearing off uh, two worth, grabbing a box here also that I happen to have because uh, this is uh, probably about the most sure method that I can think of. Get a lighter and we're outside to our burn pit. Okay. Well, outside to the burn pit. I am going to set down my box there flat. I'm going to take my paper towels and two ply them like like so right there now the reason for the box is to get the paper towel up in the air so it's going to catch on fire and burn more readily because i'm going to want to get it from going from all corners now um i'm actually going to i need to, to use all my hands here uh, because i want to get the fire going on this paper towel before I release the contents, okay? So bear with me, all right, on, on, on the film work. Okay. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I do wanna keep, uh, I, I do wanna keep, uh, the vacuum contents up off the ground I, I i'm i'm holding them over the paper towel in case they might escape i, I well let's i know they're not going to now i want to get this paper towel going i guess i want to show you this i want to get this paper towel going on like all four corners okay All right, it's starting to go on all four corners now. Now, I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna now release the contents right on that thing. Now, I, I was actually sloppy in, in this demo. I mean, I, 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 I missed, I mean, there could be bugs over here. I did actually a, a sloppy job in this case. The best thing to do is you have your fire pit already burning and it's burning well. And, and you take, and you just dump this all right straight into your fire that's already raging nicely, you know? Like, have a, have have a fire going like like that box is going there now. You know, that would. Uh, but but you get a bigger fire. Uh, I mean, uh, my my fire pit here. I suggest one that's like uh, about two feet wide all the way around, circular. That's pretty much what mine is. You if you had that full of uh, wood and burning, and you dropped them in there, they wouldn't have a chance. You know. And the reason why you burn them is to kill them. The reason why you get them outside is if you screw up, like I did, uh, at, at getting them all into the burn pit, uh, you know, that there possibly could be some outside, 
Now, it's good that, that that's all hot, you know. Maybe if I miss some, maybe they're like, ah, oh, maybe, maybe they're probably toasted by now if they didn't run away real good. That's another reason to have the box going, eh? Yeah, I mean, now that's hot, that's hot enough that... The, and these guys are not very fast, so that's probably got them, you know. 95% chance that it's all got them by now. And the reason why you take them outside is if you screw up like I did, you screw up outside. So they're dropped outside in the grass, not in your yard, you know. And they have to make all the way back through the grass and back into your house some way, you know. That's why, well, I mean, you have the fire pit away from your house a, a little bit of distance because you don't want to burn up your house. But uh, that'd be another reason why you have it that far away is because uh, in case one of them got loose and they they were, you know, good enough to, to get on back here and get back inside the house somehow, uh, that would be a lot harder trick than if you screwed up like I did and, 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 and uh, dumped it and they were right back in the house. It'd be perfect for them. Okay, so uh, again, in summation, vacuum often, hit the corners, hit the edges, get around your doorways really good, get in the hallways, you know, think like a bed bug. And then uh, when you're done, as soon as you're done, just uh, get it on outside to your burn pit and burn it up. So vacuum frequently and immediately get outside with the results and burn them in the burn pit, in your fire pit. That is today's show. Thank you. And uh, if you like that, uh, please subscribe and also Here's a nice video in my opinion. And this one is okay. And thank you. Lord God Jesus bless you always. And keep you in perfect health and peace. Bye bye.